at home with Lucas here. So today we're gonna to be talking about a smartwatch, but we're not gonna talk about a normal smartwatch. This watch actually has earbuds built in. It's this one right here on my wrist. It's made out of solid metal. It has an amazing battery life. It has a beautiful looking display, but is it a full package? Is it something you're gonna to wanna to buy or is it something you should skip altogether? We're gonna figure out all of that and more in this video. This is gonna be a three in one. Yes, people, it is a smartwatch, it's earbuds, and it has a speaker built into it that is louder than your smartphone. Boom, let's jump into that, people. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy right quick. So you got an image of what's to come in the box. Let's go ahead and walk around this. Take a look at the side over here. TWS headphones. That is what's up. True wireless stereo headphones. A little bit more about this. It's got a 1.28 inch full circle screen. That is really cool. It's got a 35 milliamp hour battery in the earbuds. And then it's got a 380 milliamp hour battery in the watch itself. So that's actually really nice. Aluminum alloy, whoa, I'm liking that a lot. All right, let's get into this, people. Okay, very interesting. This is the first uh, smartwatch I've ever gotten that has its own screwdriver. So that is uh, quite interesting right there. Okay, there you go. It's got its own proprietary charging cable with the four pins and two magnets right there and then USB on that side. And then it's got large ear tips and medium ear tip. Definitely want to read through the user manual on this one. Then it comes with a protective uh, screen protector right here to protect that circle display. All right, let's take a look at the creme de la creme people. Okay, let's go ahead and walk around this watch, shall we? So on the front right here, you have their large touchscreen display. It has a dedicated power on, power off button. Then it has a music button over here. I think this is a button. Yeah, this is a music button. Then you have something called set. Okay, looks like this is the aluminum alloy around the top. And then the sides over here feel like they're made out of plastic. And then you have a, a metal screw type thing going in here holding on the armband and then these buttons are definitely metal for sure and then the earbuds sit right inside of there and then you have your band over here with a metal clasp right there then on the inside you have your sensors right there there's your charging pads right there all right let's go ahead and pull out the earbuds all right and there we go we got the earbuds right here so these are definitely a little bit bigger than the last earbuds that i reviewed with the earbud watch yeah that's really interesting and it looks like there's a capacitive touch button right there you have your microphone right there there are the charging pads and that looks like a decent diameter right there. So that looks like you might get some decent sound coming out of here. Of course, these things are very, very small. And it's all going to come down to the sound drivers inside of here. But yeah, first impressions, those are interesting looking. And it looks like these are either or. There is no right or left. It's just earbud, earbud. However they go in, they go in. There is no right or left. Okay, so it looks like there's a microphone port right there, which means we're gonna have some speakers. And I'm seeing a I'm seeing a little speaker icon, so I'm guessing this is gonna be where the sound is gonna fire out of. Okay, this is definitely not the heaviest watch I've ever held in my hand. It's definitely on the medium side for sure, and for having earbuds tucked into it, that is uh, that's that's a plus. Let's go ahead and put it on the wrist right here. Okay, there we go, it's on my right wrist and it's definitely quite large. I have really small wrists, but this thing is very, very massive. It's definitely something that you're gonna have to get used to for sure. Um, and if you wear sleeves a lot, it's going to bulge quite heavily. 
Um, but nonetheless, it doesn't feel like it's digging down into my wrist. It feels quite comfortable. All right, coming up, we're gonna get this thing a review in. Hey, if you love this smartwatch, click the link down below. It will actually give At Home with Lucas a little bit of a kickback to help me make better videos so that you have better videos to watch. It's a win-win. Click that link down below and buy the smartwatch today. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the user interface. So this is the clock face right here. If you hold down on it, just like every other smartwatch out there, you have the ability to switch clock faces. This part portion is really snappy, very easy to do. They come with a bunch of presets, which is nice. Um, this is the best one I have found. You can get your bold time, you can get your step counter, calorie, and all this fun stuff right here. And then when you swipe to the right, you get to this sort of um, Apple Watch-esque look to it. This is the best way I have found. You can actually change it so it zooms in on just one side and you can scroll up and down on one side, but I found this is the best right here. I wish these were all cards and I wish you could swipe through them, but they're trying to make this really fast and very efficient. When you swipe to the right, you get to your play pause, so you can actually just play music right on the watch itself. And then when you press the power on and off, it takes you back home. When you swipe down, you get to a quick setting right here. So you can go into your settings. You can turn Bluetooth on and off. You can find my phone, go into do not disturb, and then you can have your watch wake when you move your wrist. So you can turn that on and off. Swipe back up, and it goes back to the home page. When you swipe up from the bottom, you go into your text messages right here, and then you swipe back up to get back to there. And that is basically all you have. It is very, very simple. There is not a lot going on with this user interface. When you go into the settings, this portion is very glitchy, does not flow right. You can see that it's actually, <laughs> that's not the camera doing that, that's this. It's very strange, and I'm not quite sure exactly why it's doing that it's really really weird and i wish you could of course change this as well um but yeah so that is the user interface it's very very simple very straightforward this is where you're going to get most of your information just looking at your watch face itself which i found to be fine i'm, I'm not one to do a lot of tinkering with my watch throughout the day i just need to see the time I need to see my steps my calories and of course my heart rate which is right up there so that is the simple user interface. Okay, for this workout, I'm gonna put it into yoga mode. That seems to be the only thing that will do what I want it to do. Everything else is very specific to certain types of workout, whereas yoga mode seems like it's gonna give me what I need for my 645 beach body workout. And there you go, that is what it looks like. You get your heart rate, calorie burn, minutes, and then you get a clock down below which I think is on army time I don't do army time but the heart rate should kick on there it goes so it's going to run the entire time I do my workout so far it feels really good on the wrist and we'll see how well it holds up with sweat and whatnot let's get into this workout okay just finished my fifth day doing a workout with this watch and I have to say that I cannot kill the battery and I love just seeing my heart rate, calorie, and time lapsed. It's really cool, very simple, does its job. I like it a lot. All right, let's talk about screen brightness in full sun. So this is what it looks like with my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra doing its best to pick up that display. It's pretty close to real life. It might be a little bit brighter to me right now than it is coming across on the screen. So there you go, definitely glanceable to see the time. Okay, let's talk about battery life. So battery life on this thing is absolutely amazing. I have been trying to kill this all week long and I have not been able to kill this at all. It's just now switched over into the red right there. It has been um, a quarter to half to full the whole entire time. Absolutely amazing. I do wish you could see the battery percentage. They don't give you that ability 
on the watch itself and they also do not give you that ability in the app so that would be really cool if they updated this and gave me the ability to see my battery percentage also it'd be cool to see it on the watch face itself right here but yeah i have been listening to uh, music with the earbuds i've killed the earbuds twice Okay, took these earbuds out of the smartwatch around 2.30 p.m. this afternoon, and it's now 5.30 p.m., they're at 15%. So, decent battery life for how tiny these things are. I've been listening to music, podcasts, uh, listen to an audio book. I've been doing a lot of listening. They've basically been in my ear the entire time, but battery life, big thumbs up for these guys and still did not kill the battery, which was very surprising. I'm really shocked. I actually turned on the always on heart rate monitor. So this thing is going uh, as much as possible. I think it has a certain interval that it'll turn on and turn back off, but I have it on the highest one possible. So I've really been putting this thing to the test and the battery life is unreal. Also, I've had it on. So you listen to music from the speaker on the watch itself. Uh, pretty loud and still once again did not kill the battery I've done multiple workouts with this thing throughout the week um, and you know hour-long workouts where it's calculating the heart rate the entire time could not kill the battery doing that so this battery life is definitely unreal if you're someone that wants to just look at the time and you want to have your earbuds strapped to your wrist and you want to be able to calculate steps and calorie and heart rate and you don't want to worry about charging it, this is the one to buy. Okay, let's just go through all the things that are inside of this watch itself. So you have the weather, you have a timer right here, very simple. All of these are gonna be super, super simple, very straightforward. You have a countdown timer right there. I like how you can swipe to the right to get back. I really like that they give you a calculator. This is very cool. It reminds me of the old school um, watches back in the day. Very cool that they give you that. You have an alarm, which is really cool. They give you three different alarms that you can set. I really, really like that feature. Then you have your ability to see your messages. You can um, do something here. I haven't figured out this. Uh, I don't have Siri on this device. So I'm not sure what this is all about. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the Siri button right here. This is actually just a smart assistant button. So if you have, okay, Google running, if you have your Alexa running, if you have your Siri running on your device, then all you have to do is hold this down and then it's going to activate it as you can see, but you have to hold it down. current weather right now in Acton it's 41 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies throughout the day you can expect more of the same okay now you have one called music right here you can click on it so that's just another shortcut to get you where you can get to from the home pages this one's really cool you can measure the temperature of your skin okay let's talk about one of the cool sensors that this has it has a thermometer built into it and it's actually this little piece of metal right here that contacts your skin and that is what's going to give the readouts and then when you put it on your wrist it's going to start to measure your temperature on the skin and i am 97.5 yes that is accurate so that's really cool really fun simple thing to have on your wrist. And I found that to be really accurate and I was very happy with that. And then you have your heart rate right here, which will tell you what your heart rate is, which is really nice. Then you have sleep. So you can just turn this on and go to sleep. Um, I believe it also auto turns on for sleep, if I'm not mistaken. And then you have your stats, very simple, very straightforward, not a lot going on here. Um, and then you have then you have sport right here. So they really didn't put a huge amount in here. You have running, walking, climbing, you have yoga, riding, elliptical machine, football, basketball, badminton. When you got table tennis right there. Then you come up to your sport 02, which definitely does a good job. QR code. And then we're back at the top. Okay, for this portion, I'm gonna be 
playing music on the smartwatch and it's going to be piped in to my blue snowball right here which is going to go into my note 20 ultra through the USB-C port, so we'll get a good understanding of the sound quality coming out of the speaker. It fires out in this direction here, so it shoots out like this. So I'm gonna kind of hold it a little bit like that. I'm right like a diamond. Fine light in the beautiful Okay, all the audio you're hearing is actually coming from the Bluetooth speakers themselves. It's not coming from my Note 20 Ultra. I went into pro mode and I switched it to Bluetooth microphone. So you're gonna hear the microphone on here. I did make a phone call with these a couple times and the people on the other end said that sound quality was very, very clear, very crisp, and they could hear everything I was saying. Um, but yeah, definitely really good. They don't really cancel out a lot of the noise around you. So you're gonna be able to hear some noise around you. So you should be able to hear the TV going in the background, but nonetheless, uh, this is what it's going to sound like roughly if you are doing online streaming and you use these as your microphone, or if you make a phone call or record something, this is going to give you a little bit of an understanding of that. Of course, you're going to have to deal with call quality when you actually make a phone call. So it might sound a little bit different on the other end, depending on your carrier and whatnot. Okay, just paired these up to my iPod right here. I'm gonna be listening to some straight up music. So I'm gonna to listen to a wide variety of genres, really put these earbuds to the test people. So let's go ahead and get into some good music listening. Wow, definitely passed the iPod test for sure, people. These things get insanely loud, as loud as some of the loudest earbuds I reviewed on this channel. They definitely have the ability to pump out sound in a tiny, this thing is so small, I cannot believe that it actually produces that much sound quality that much bass there's actually bass coming out of there now you're not going to get five star bass you're not going to get that premium next level bass you're going to get that three and a half to four star bass but that is enough to get you through these are not these are not uh silly dumb gimmicky earbuds these are legit earbuds you double tap them they skip you single tap them, they pause, they can control devices like iPods, which is actually really cool. Some earbuds can't do that. Big, big thumbs up. Definitely got immersed in that music. I was blown away. Pass the iPod test. Boom. Let's go ahead and check out the app. It's called V Band. I'm just gonna spoil it right away. This is a five star app for me. It's super colorful. It's super easy to understand. They did a phenomenal job, definitely hit it out of the park. The ability to see all of your metrics really, really easily is awesome. Definitely something that I'm interested in, so that is really cool. The ability to check on your sensors from the app itself is really nice. You can actually just jump straight into here and check out your body temperature. You can go ahead and check out your sleep, which I don't sleep with my watches, so I don't have any data for you guys you can check your heart rate and then you could do things like blood pressure and then you have your blood oxygen and your GPS running and then you can go into the watch itself this is where you can check for firmware updates then you can go into other settings this is where you can turn on 24-hour time you can change your units so if you're in the US you're gonna want Fahrenheit and Imperial 
and then you're gonna be able to do a bunch more settings down here. This is where I actually turned on always on heart rate and always on body temp. So that was really cool. Um, so I had all that turned on. You can change your app notifications in here. You can go into your dialer and this is where they don't really have a huge amount of dialer faces and none of them are dynamic, which means when you load them up and you tap on this watch face, it's not gonna change and show you something different uh, like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch does. So definitely take note of that. They do provide a huge amount of built-in watch faces, like I said, and you can change those up as you want to, so that's really cool. And then you can go into here, you can put in your personal information, target steps, um, and this is where you can do a few other things. So it's a very simple, very straightforward app that gives you exactly what you want and cuts all the crap out that you do not want. So like I said, big five stars, very, very happy with it. Perfect app. Okay, so I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review and let's just start off with the user interface. So this thing is where it's really lacking. Now you may buy this and go, wow, it's super minimal. You have your needed things over here. You swipe over, you get to your music and then you swipe down and you get into your settings. You may say this is perfect. It's super easy to use. I love it. Other people may want a little bit more. They may want their Starbucks app. They may want their apps that are on their current watches to be on here. And I really wish that this watch company would figure out a way to get Android watch OS or something like Tizen or something else on here that would make it so much better. But nonetheless, it doesn't have that. For me personally, I don't mind it. Like I've said before, it does its job. Let's talk about comfort on the wrist. So this thing is actually really comfortable for being such a giant watch. It really does a good job of being really comfortable. I never really noticed it on my wrist and I have very sensitive wrists, like I said before. Definitely something to take note of when you buy this thing. It's gonna fit the giant wrist and it's gonna fit the small wrist as well. So that is really cool. This band is very versatile. I like the fact that it has a metal clasp on it. It's gonna stay on your wrist and not break off. So that's really cool. It was uh, decently easy to clean. I really like how it's grooved right here. This actually helps when you're putting it on. These little um, watch strap holders actually do a phenomenal job. I love the fact that there's two of them. You can really get this thing tight on the wrist and lock in the strap so it's not flopping all over the place. So that was really, really cool. When you get back here to the heart rate sensor and blood oxygen sensor, it really does a good job and you can actually turn it on so it's running constantly. And there you go, you can see it's just constantly going to be checking in on your heart rate. It doesn't do it 24 seven like a Fitbit. So if you're trying to get a Fitbit heart rate sensor, this is not the one for you. This is something that's gonna turn on in intervals and turn back off. I love the fact you can check the temperature of your skin. The ability to charge it up via these pins right here was super simple very useful. Uh, the back right here is actually made out of plastic, but the rest of the watch is made out of metal, aluminum alloy. It's actually really, really nice. And it definitely adds to the appeal. I like the rugged look of it with the exposed screws. And the, I love the fact that you can just take this off with a flathead screwdriver, remove your watch band, add a new one on. So that is really cool. I like the look of it too. It looks really cool. It's got some uh, classic watch um, looks to it. The button pressing over here for the on off is phenomenal. It's really clicky, really responsive. I like how they put a little bit of a red accent on there. It makes it just look a little bit cooler. So they're really trying to make this watch stand out. The only button I found to be a little bit funny is the music button. It's a little mushy, so it's very mushy. But when you push the music button, you get to one of the coolest features. You can pair up a regular pair of earbuds. Okay, this is crazy cool. I just paired up my Jabra Elite earbuds to my smartwatch right here. So that means that you can actually pair up your earbuds to your watch, load this thing up with music, and then go out for a run and not have to take your phone with you. So that is absolutely amazing. This smartwatch is truly, truly a powerhouse. Just blows you away at every step 
It is next level, so, so awesome. To this watch, so not just these earbuds, you could actually pair up a pair of Apple earbuds if you wanted to, and then you can have your music playing out of the phone, your phone, or your watch right here. So when you press play or pause, it's gonna play it straight out of the watch. So if you're Bluetooth to your phone, it'll be a Bluetooth speaker. So like I said in the beginning, you're getting a three-in-one, a Bluetooth speaker, you're getting a pair of earbuds, and you're getting a smartwatch. And this Bluetooth speaker, as you heard earlier, is phenomenal. It really does such a good job, and I really, really like it a lot. Um, this button is a little bit funny because it only activates when you're back on the home screen most of the time. Um, and, and it has like a little clicky turn right here, but it doesn't actually do much. And then when you press it again, it doesn't do anything. So I wish you could cycle through this really quickly, but nonetheless, you can't. The, um, the sets button is kind of funny. It just activates this right here, which is also accessible by swiping over. So if you wanna just get to it quick, you can go like that. Um, but yeah, so all in all, build quality, I'm gonna give it a four point seven out of five stars it's it's almost premium in my book the user interface i'm going to give it a 3.5 out of five stars and the functionality of this thing i'm giving it five stars the fact it has earbuds built in the fact it has a built-in loudspeaker is absolutely amazing the microphone is phenomenal so if you're going to make phone calls on your wrist they're going to be able to hear you from quite a ways away and this speaker is so loud that you're actually going to be able to have your wrist uh, resting down low and still be able to hear them. So that is a huge plus. The only thing I found if you are someone like me who clips their nails quite often, it, I did find myself dropping these earbuds because you really need a nail to get into that lip right there. And if you don't have one, it's going to be a little bit funny, but you'll probably get used to it after a while. You just have to go a little bit slow and pull them out. So I do wish once again that these were spring loaded. I wish I could just push in and they would pop out a little bit and give me some grip but nonetheless, uh, they don't. The indicator lights are really great. You can see how they're charging. The battery life on this thing is unreal, and I don't say that lightly with this one. This is definitely a powerhouse battery in here, and it really knows how to sip the battery uh, over a long time. So if you're someone who just wants to see a clock, you wanna see the date, and you wanna see the stuff that's on this display right here, then this is gonna be the watch for you. You're gonna get earbuds on your wrist, there's something really interesting about having a watch with earbuds built in. You never have to wonder, where are my earbuds? They're on your wrist, dude. They're right there. And that to me was so cool. It was so awesome. I found myself using earbuds more often. And the fact that you can get over three hours of battery life in these earbuds is huge thumbs up. Like that is absolutely amazing. I was totally, totally blown away by that. You can run the earbuds probably two to three times before the battery goes dead. So that's like nine hours of earbuds in one watch, plus uh, the ability to have all the other stuff that you have with this thing, the countdown timer, the alarms, and all that stuff. So really, I'm gonna give this thing a high five star rating, people, five stars. And the reason why I'm giving it five stars is not because it's perfect, it's not because it has the best user interface. It's not because it has the best sound quality in the earbuds. It's the total package. Yes, you're getting an amazing loudspeaker. You're getting really good quality earbuds. These things sound really, really good. I was actually impressed. You're getting a um, ability to have your steps counted, your heart rate, and all that stuff. So it's really a full package. When you put it all together like this, you strap it on your wrist, you start to go, okay, I love this thing. It really does a good job. Solid, solid star rating. Highly recommended to everyone out there. Buy it. All right, there you go. That is the all-in-one smartwatch. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to click that like button. And if you wanna join the Adam Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 6K. Yes, people finally got over 6K on my way to 7K. Woo, that number sounds so good. But I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.